Hey everybody and welcome back to Twin Chips Studio and today we're looking at 007 Nightfire running on the Dolphin Emulator, the GameCube version of this game. I'm going to show you how it runs on Dolphin Emulator, some of the problems you may face and how to fix them. I'm going to show you how to input the action replay codes and with this game we have a good old fashioned cheat codes that you can just input on the game itself. I'm going to show you some of the settings that I use to make it run good and everything else in between. And if you're a big James Bond fan, this is absolutely a must game to play. It is much better than Agent Under Fire, though some people kind of prefer Agent Under Fire. It's just a massive improvement on that. And it's probably the last great James Bond game that was on the PlayStation 2, GameCube, and Xbox. So sit back, relax, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's just dive into the video, shall we? Now, before we get into it, the first thing we're going to need to do is to download the developmental version of Dolphin, just like in the last video with Agent Under Fire. You can see the scan lines down the screen on the FMVs. Now, this isn't every FMV, but it's quite a few of them. So if this bothers you, it doesn't really bother me that much, but if this does bother you and you want to fix this, the best way to do this is to use a developmental version of Dolphin. So when you download Dolphin, you've got a couple of versions. You've got the beta version, which is usually updated monthly, which is more stable. And you also have the developmental version, which has quite a few. These are upgraded hourly. As you can see here, 15 hours ago, 15 hours ago, 13 hours ago, 12 hours ago. And these are just like experimental versions with developmental features that are added to it that other people are making because they are constantly working on this emulator. And hopefully Dolphin 6 is going to be out probably in the next two or three years. It's been ages since we've had a new version of Dolphin, but they're constantly working on it in the background. And when you download the developmental version, you go to dolphin-emu.org forward slash download, and you'll see the beta versions. You see developmental versions. These are the one, this is the one that you want. So just click the latest one. It's probably gonna work just as fine. It's just gonna have a few extra experimental features in there as well that you can turn off and on. As you see the stable version, the last one was five years, six months ago. So we definitely want the beta version if you are gonna want a stable experience. But VP6 codex, which is with the codec that they use in quite a few of the EA games, actually. It's one of the things that happens in most of the EA games. Makes the FMVs, the uh, videos, have these scan lines so to counter that you click the graphics settings you go to advanced and here there will be a bit that says manual texture sampling so i'm just going to close this and open my developmental version now as you can see here on the developmental version we have an extra bit here the experimental manual texture sampling now the reason i don't use this is because a uh, it doesn't really bother me these uh the scan lines don't really bother me in the fmvs because i'm really just playing this for a nostalgia i see all the scan lines have gone there and the other reason is that I've noticed a bit of a dip in performance when using it, and I've had to turn my graphics settings down. Now, I usually have this all on full graphics, but with the manual texture sampling, I kind of have to turn all of this down to, like, by half. So I'd be on two times SSAA or maybe four times MSAA instead, and I'd be on anisotropic filtering and knock that down. Um, so I just... For the sake of the performance dip i can put up with these scan lines on the screen as you can see i'll put it back on there they are and then without the manual texture sampling with the manual texture sampling sorry i've got full screen and they've disappeared the next important thing while looking at these graphic settings is that we go to the general section we have the back end and as always i'm going to be using direct 3d 11 but the safest bet is always open gl like i always say with this i say this every time if you're using an amd graphics card vulcan will probably be the best one for you but it's all trial and error i prefer direct 3d 11 i don't know why it's just something on the screen looks better in direct 3d 11 than it does in open gl i can't quite put my finger on it but i just prefer it that way and i have an nvidia graphics card so direct 3d 11 is going to work better for me if i had an amd graphics card i'd probably use vulcan give that a go sometimes vulcan's quite new to dolphin so sometimes it is a bit stuttery and OpenGL is your absolute best bet when in doubt click open gl shader compilation specialized again because it's just the quickest one and it's recommended for low-end hardware even though i've got a bit of extra oomph in my uh processor and i've got like 
16 gigabytes of RAM, I could use hybrid Uber shaders and it'd probably work fine. I just like to have that smooth experience. For me, Specialized is the best one. And I compile the shaders before starting to reduce stuttering because the more I play the game, the more shaders are going to get uh, saved into a file. And we're going to have a shader cache that's going to reduce stuttering. Enhancements, again, anti-aliasing, eight times SSAA. Um, with this, you basically just... There's nothing that really affects the game. Sometimes you you have one of these MSAA or SSAA will affect the game. Nothing really affects the game. You can choose what you want. So I'm going to put that up at the highest. And internal resolution, as always, 1080p. And as I find out quite recently, 1080p on Dolphin is 1920 by 1584. There is no... Um, there is no 1920 by 1080. If you want to have it as a stretch, if you want to have it as a full screen, you go to aspect ratio in general and you put it stretch to window and it'll stretch to whatever window you want it. Or you can force 16 by 9 to get widescreen, but that will still give you like two tiny bars at the bottom of the screen, at the side of the screen. If that bothers you, then stretch to window is the one for you. But this game does support widescreen, unlike Agent Under Fire, which had four by three. So you can set that to auto. And then in the game, we're going to change the widescreen settings. There's no need for the widescreen hack here. Everything else is just set up as normal. And if you're looking at your settings and thinking it's wrong, if you scroll over the setting, it'll come up with this bar and it'll tell you exactly what you need to do for the default settings. So here it says show statistics, shows various rendering statistics. If unsure, leave this unchecked and then prefetch custom t textures. That's something I like to do. Uh, so if we go down to one that's ticked that I've got ticked here, ignore format changes. If unsure, leave this checked. So that's one way to check if you've got the default settings. It'll tell you exactly what you should do if you're unsure about it. And I keep everything pretty much the same. Um, as far as the controller is concerned, again, it's a GameCube controller. I'm using my Xbox Series S controller. Uh, enhanced power a controller which is just an xbox controller so if you want to check out my profile for this you can check it out on twincherrystudio.com or you can just look for my channel on the how to how to set up your xbox one controller to run as a gamecube controller on dolphin emulator and that's with a rumble and everything like that there so all that is on my channel and on my website twincherrystudio.com and then finally, the cheats. Now, this is my favorite part about this is because when you're playing a game that you've played multiple times back in the day, we used to use these action replay things and Dolphin has that built into it. We used to have these action replay like memory cards or things that you'd bang in the back of the console and they just give you infinite health, infinite armor. Because if you were stuck on a game, you couldn't just go straight to YouTube and find a video. You had to wait for either the magazine to print the tutorial or you could just put the action replay card in and just unlock all levels now nightfire is quite an old game and it has cheat codes in which is also amazing this is kind of the era when cheat codes were becoming a thing and used to buy this book of cheat codes that you'd get from a magazine uh, the action replay codes that i've got are infinite health infinite armor infinite golden wolf from pp7 and helicopter rockets and bullets and you can find them on my channel you can find them on my website and I'll leave a link in the description down below. So it's 007. So what we do to put them in on the Dolphin emulator, if you right click the game and click properties and go to the bit where it says AR codes and then add a new code, put the name of the code in and copy and paste what you see from the website here. So we copy this code. Now there's a bit here that says master code. And in the last video, I said the master code must be on, but apparently Dolphin emulator doesn't need a master code so that's not there so if we wanted this infinite health cheat we'd copy this we'd create a new code i'm just going to edit the code here so we'd add a new code we paste it in here and then we would put infinite health infinite health click save and that would save that there but this has already been put in there for me i've already done this because i've been playing this game quite recently another thing that this game has like i said was the cheat codes the cheat menu in the game and i put that on my website as well and there'll be a link in the description down below but basically you put this code in and it unlocks all the multiplayer characters so we'll put game room in and it'll unlock all the multiplayer scenarios and there's quite a few there to mess around with. So this will help you unlock all the players for multiplayer. If you're going to be playing multiplayer, or if you want to unlock all the missions, you can put Passport in there. 
Also, during the driving missions, there's some extra ones that I found here to unlock Berserk Racing, Double Armor, Quadruple Armor, things like that. So when you're in the driving missions, you pause the game, you hold the left shoulder button down and press these buttons and then release the left shoulder and it will do magical things. I might do a video on that, show you all the different ones there. If people are interested, let me know down in the comments. But all of that is now on my website. I'm going to be trying to fill that up with every game that I play with all the cheats and all the guides and setups and things like that that I do. So let's just launch the game and get into it. Okay, so the game did crash here twice while I was playing it, and that was due to action replay codes. And that's one of the risks you run when using action replay codes, is that they could at some point corrupt the game. They are unassigned codes being added to the game by the action replay device. So I just wanted to let you know that before we got on with the rest of the video. Uh, the best way to use the cheats in this game, I would say, is to use the actual codes, the cheat codes that they have provided for us. I think it's the infinite helicopter rockets and bullets. Okay, so on Nightfire, the first thing you're going to want to do is they'll give you a little tutorial and you want to create a code name. So this is your save data file. I've already created one for Bond. So you'll click new code name and then you put in whatever you want. And I'm going to edit this one. And this is where we go through all the controller setup. So the first thing you want to do is go to AV options and turn widescreen on. And then press A to confirm. There's also a cheeky die another day trailer there if you want to watch that. I watched it. There's also a cheeky die another day trailer if you want to watch that. You can also choose whether you want horizontal or vertical split screen in multiplayer. I was always a fan of the horizontal. Let me know down in the comments what you was a fan of back in the day. Once you've confirmed that, you're going to want to go to the secret unlocks. And this is where we put in the codes that I've shown you before on the website. So just to show you one, what we're going to pick, I'm going to pick one of them. Uh, let's go with, we'll unlock all levels because that one's very easy. Passport. Now, I remember I used to get the Games Master magazine that used to have a little cheat book with it. Passport. I almost thought passport, passport then. I can't spell. Okay, there we go. Unlock successful. We've now unlocked them all. Go to control setup to find the settings that are perfect for you. I like Nightfire one here because it's just simple. And unlike, oh, cancel that. Unlike the previous ones when like, unlike Agent Under Fire, the setup is now perfected. This was about the time when Halo came out, which completely revolutionized controls as far as first person shooters were concerned. Okay, so let's get back to Dolphin and full screen this. And we'll show you some of the gameplay. So save code name. Make sure that you save the code name before you go. Otherwise, all those settings are going to mean absolutely nothing. And we go back to it. We click Nightfire. Choose our code name, which is Bond. We'll go with Operative, which is easy. And there, as you can see, all the missions have been unlocked. I'm going to play with this game. Go through it, show you how it runs, and, uh, you know, just the usual stuff now. Good evening, 007. Did I leave For manual texture filtering on? Let's have a look. US space weapons platform has been yeah, manual texture sampling is still on. I've turned manual texture sampling off. So, like I said, not all of the actual cutscenes are still FMVs. Unlike like Agent Under Fire, all the cutscenes, they like, everything had those scan lines on because of it. This one, only a couple are affected that use that VP6 codec. We're getting closer to the future here. This game was uh, released in 2002, I think. It was like one year after agent under fire but i think it was it started development in 2000 oh we're gonna do a halo jump drake security teams are hardened men as a double agent you may have to answer aggression with aggression they did luck, the, this kind of halo jump in a mission impossible as well didn't they oh no this, that was into like a town in paris we're going into a uh, cheeky little base but this you can see a lot of the uh influence these types of games had on modern warfare 
stealthy snow mission. Pierce Brosnan's face is actually being used for this in this game as well. They actually scanned his face for it. But it isn't Pierce Brosnan acting. It's not his voice. It's someone called Maxwell Clawfield, I think. Or Maxfield, Maxwell Clawfield. One thing I liked about this game, if I, if I remember, let's see. Yeah, you can put a silencer on your gun by pressing B. Take that silencer off. Put that silencer on. For when you want to go loud. Let's see. Jump. Crouch. Let's get the buttons ready. Night vision. Is this pre-Splinter Cell? Or I think Splinter Cell came out in 2001. I might even be wrong that. This might be pre-Splinter Cell. This game is considered one of the best. It just improves on everything that Agent Under Fire did. Which is kind of strange because... The guys from who did Agent Under Fire, just headshot this guy here. It's not the same developer. I always thought it was the same developer, but when I was looking at this game, it's not. It's a developer called Eurocom. Uh, they did some great games as well. They're like a British developer. They've gone bust now. But Agent Under Fire was done by Visceral Games, who are also defunct. Did I pick up that guy's sniper rifle? I did. Get me a golden gun. Headshot. Let's see, it's like Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I don't think I need to be like this finger of it. Like the AI is not that great. You can't see me. I'm aiming a sniper. Guns and gunplay isn't perfected here though. It still feels very like toy to shoot guns. I don't know how to explain it, but like when you shoot a gun in Call of Duty, it feels like. I don't know how it feels to shoot a gun, but like, there's a certain feel, a certain weight to them. So yeah, Eurocom that made this, they also made uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. They also made Pirates of the Caribbean game, which I played on PlayStation 3. Let's just take this guy, headshot, clean. And I think there's one more here. Yeah. Yeah. So we're trying to sneak into like a party without causing too much alarm, but I don't think causing alarm actually uh, changes the narrative of the story here. I remember in Agent Under Fire, they were trying to get this sort of like open, multiple ways of doing the same thing, so I wonder if it's the same for this game. I don't like 100% remember it, because it was 2002 when it came out, and I was 11 years old. Yeah, so these guys made a lot of like licensed property. We're just gonna sniper our way through all this. Ah, oh, drop me sniper. What was that weird? Check that texture out, texture glitch there. That's the API looking funny. See, these are the, some of the downsides to using uh, Direct 3D 11 or using different API other than OpenGL. Is you get texture glitches like that. That was great. Let's fucking take them both out. We got him. We got him. Even though he's glitching out like a madman. Oh. And that'll be... And that's the action replay code. And that is caused by a dodgy action replay code that I have going. So if I can check, go to the action replay codes. I think it's the infinite helicopter rockets and bullets. Okay, so it's back where it was before. This guy's not as uh, glitchy as he was before. So I'm guessing it was the action replay code that was messing this up. Oh, change it to semi. I think clear headshots are... Uh, I think they should calm down now. I don't know if the AI is as advanced as that, as far as alarms and stuff are concerned. So yeah, one of the things they went for in Agent Under Fire was like a chance to do the game any way you want. Oh, missed. Oh, got him, I got him. Headshot, headshot. 
headshots. Let's see if he's like multiple ways. I, I, I played this level before on the way I went into the building. Sorry, mate. I'm not going to kill you. Don't worry. He's dead. Very quiet way of playing the game. I like the way where he leans around the corner. More bullets. Is there a way into the building from here? I don't think there is. I think this is just uh oh, I've got more bullets though. There might just be one way into this building. You see me face though. You see me face that guy. What gadgets have we got? A micro camera? Oh yes. Let's take a photo. So like I said, yeah, this was game developed by Eurocom. They, uh, they actually released one of my favorite games for the Super Nintendo. I say my favorite game. It's because I it was one of the only games I had. But uh, Lethal Weapon. They're quite known for doing licensed products. They've done a couple of James Bond ones as well. They did Quantum of Solace on the PlayStation 2. But the last game they did was 007 Legends. Which makes sense as to why they're not still going. Because that was an absolute disaster. Is he dead? Don't let anyone set off an alarm. I love that outfit. Little thermal goggles on. He's, he's bright. What's he need them thermals for? I love that no one else is hearing this. Like any, none of the other AI. AI's come a long way. How do I reload? There we go. Ace reload. Ace reload. I think the uh, driving levels for this were done by a different company. Named Savage Entertainment. When I was looking at them. The most interesting thing about them was that they actually ran simulations for DARPA before. Or after they got like fired by EA. But they also made the PSP version of Star Wars Battlefront 2, which is one of the best versions of that game anyway. I used to love that on my PSP. Where am I going here? There's no, there's no objective markers. Oh. Can I climb through that window? No, I cannot climb through the window. do I do with these circuit breakers we've got a grapple, we've got a laser nice how's the alarm raised is that because I cut the circuit, the search lights a bit of armor there Let's get a decent weapon out changing weapons, not that oh we got a sniper again Let's see if we can do some no scopes. How do I turn this bloody alarm off? Ah. There's a door there. No scopes don't work, do they? Quick scope, quick scope. Let's plan to do some 360 no scopes then. Just completely oblivious in the party. Going on in the castle, this huge alarm. A hind D. Guessing that'll be my escape later. I really am exploring this level. I finished it in about two seconds last time I played it. I must have got lucky and found the right place to go. Oh, 
Okay. Where do we go now? There's no map. Pause screen, any maps? Find a way inside the party. There's a party going on. Oh, my controller's gone weird. Why is my controls all of a sudden inverted? Did I press a weird button? Oh, yeah, yeah. I've changed him to classic Bond somehow. Right. Let's get some night vision on. Is that the door to the party? No. I haven't got a weapon. Grapple? That door's locked. That must be the door to the party. You can see it's running quite smooth, actually. 60 frames per second. Not much stutter. Agent Under Fire had a lot more stutter than this. So it must be this way. There it is. Nope, that's not it. Shoot the barrels. Nope, they don't explode. There we go. Sneaking in. Wasn't seen. Let's get to the castle library. This game actually scored quite high on Metacritic as well. It's got 80 out of 100 for the GameCube version. It's a pretty good for the time. The guests won't take kindly to firearms. Keep them hidden to maintain a low profile. No guns. I got my stunner out. Hello, my dear. Now I'm in full spy mode. Don't mind me. I've just got this camera inside my lighter. I'm not a spy. Hello, my dear. Hello. 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 Good evening. It's a lovely dress you're wearing. Pleased to meet you too, sir. Take a photo of you. Hello. Oh, yes. Work it. Yes. 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 No! 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 Hello. You're Tony the Tiger. Uh, we need to find the library, don't we? All right, sir. Enjoy it yourself. Hello, my dear. Hello. Are they all the same voice? Just walking around with a lighter out. It's an interesting vase. Maybe that's going to... Come in handy at some point. It's all about composition photography. I could probably post this on my Instagram and get thousands of likes. Are you? Yes, love. There we go. Cheeky little photo. A lovely evening. This is like 2002 as well. So this is top grade technology. You alright, Paul? He's, he's a big fellow, isn't he? You'd better return to the party, sir. Okay. Cheers, lads. I hope I can develop these later. You'd better return to the party, sir. It's the same guy. You'd better return to the It's the party. same two people. Is it? You'd better return to it the is. Party. It's just the same people. Clones. I think this game got like run up as well for like best shooter on GameCube. Obviously, the top prize went to Time Splitters 2, which is undeniably the best shooter on GameCube. At some point, I'll be playing Time Splitters again. Oh, there he is with his cheeky cat. I've took all those photos, mate. You don't need to take them again. My invitation this evening. Your generous gifts have ensured the success of our World Refugee Fund. Classic Bond. Once again... My gratitude to all for making the journey here. I actually watched now, Tomorrow Never Dies last night because I've been banging on about it so much. I'll watch it again. And Bond bangs three birds. 
Free birds. Free, free ladies. In a single film. First, he has it off with his uh, Dutch teacher. I think it's Dutch that he's learning. Or Austrian. I think it's Austrian, yeah. He's Austrian teacher. Oh, we've got to find this library. Uh, and then he has it off with um, the library, 007. Terry Hatcher, who's playing Paris Carver. And then obviously, she's a Bond girl. She dies. Being his main more Oh. Amazing. Camera. Lighter. Okay, let's try the other gadgets. See what they've got going for them. Stunner. No, that doesn't do anything. Laser. <laughs> it's just a lighter. Would you like a light, sir? No party guests in here, sir. Would you like a lighter? Nope. It's no purpose whatsoever, that. And they animated all that in. I love it. Unless later on it does. There she is, the informant. Oh, straight away, in with a kiss. You're the deep cover agent. It's not as deep as it's so much innuendo in Tomorrow Never Dies as well. There's like one bit where he's in the car, and uh, M's like, "You need to pump her for information," and then Money Penny's like, "Nightshade." French intelligence. Where did she die in the last one? arrived with the stolen guidance device. I'm sure her name was Rachel's Nightshade. The conference room. I would imagine he's meeting Mayhew there. Take this key. You won't sure she's the one that died in Agent Under Fire. I better get back to the party before I am missed. Because remember, it was such a horrific death. She just got blown up with a bazooka. And R was like, she's dead. I'll create a distraction for you while you make your way to the conference room. Is that dress standard company issue, Nightshade? Don't get any ideas, 007. It's armored in all the right places. Oh. Oh, behave. Austin Powers is probably the greatest spy film ever made. Changed my mind. Don't let Drake's men get in your way. Use whatever means necessary right, to part. get to that meeting. Part is over. Oh, we've only got the PP7. We'll go with the golden one. Whack a silencer on. I don't know why. Because we're just going to end up shooting everyone anyway. Right, she's gone that way. No, we need to go this way. Let's see if we can stealth this. Crouch. Let's do a bit of cheeky stealth. Watch the first room we go in. It's just going to be loads of people just staring at me. Where are we going? Where did he say to go? Spy on the secret meeting. Okay. Yeah. Nope, it's not in here. We've left a trail of dead bodies outside, so all those party guests must have missed them. Oh, it's 2002, and it bodies just disappeared when they got shot. I'm a sneaky mofo. Oh shit, room, room full of people. What did I say? Oh, it gets a Kowloon type 40. What's, what's that one? It's own it's change weapon. It's a pistol. Oh, it's got a burst mold. Semi or a burst. It's fucking burst. Oh, you can move while you... Oh, that's a nice feature. New game, whenever you did that, you couldn't move. But now you can kind of ADS. But it's just not... You can't... Yeah, you can turn. It's very slow, very slow. Mm. We got into the secret meeting room. Take cover while reloading. Hint.
I want to try one of the driving scenes, and then we'll, we'll wrap this video up because I'm gonna I'm gonna play this on stream. TwinCherryStudio.tv forward slash. Nope, that's wrong. It's Twitch.tv forward slash TwinCherryStudio. I'm gonna try and go through every James Bond game on GameCube and Wii. I've just got a few more to set up. From Russia with Love, Golden Eye Reloaded on the Wii, and. Oh, this game hasn't crashed. Has it crashed? I think we crashed. Okay, so we crashed at this point before. Uh, what I've done, I'm going to turn some of the settings down, actually. I don't think it's the settings, though, because like, the game runs smooth with this anyway, so I think it's to do with it. that was just like an emulation anomaly. And I think it's the action replay codes. So I'm going to put that warning in there at the start of the video about the action replay codes. Another way you can use action replay codes is through Cheat Manager. You can turn them off and on here. So I can turn Infinite Health and Infinite Armor on. Uh, I don't know which code it is that keeps causing the crash though. So we're just going to do a trial by elimination so that I can see what happens with each code. Here it is, Mr. Drake. The missile guidance module we stole from the Americans. I trust this effort brings us one step closer to globalization. You've saved our technicians considerable time, Mayhew. Can we accelerate the other Nightfire elements as well? Absolutely, sir. We're well underway training assault teams for the... Get your hands off me! We can't end the hallway, <gasps> sir. I was looking for the powder room. It's <laughs> Look at those accentuated nine breasts. Hey, it's a tough neighborhood. <laughs> if this security Look at the size of the muscles on that guy as well. Talk about like. Secure this in the safe room. I doubt what's the word? Lock the castle down. Now. Like. And take this unrealistic to body images there. I want her interrogation to upset the guests. Interrogation? What kind of party is this anyway? I forgot what was going on. I forgot the whole story. He's a bad guy. That's all we know. And uh. He... All right. I've got a semi. Retrieve guiding strip. So am I supposed to go down there and... Or should I just... I'll leave them for now. Uh, if we go out this door, it's not open anymore. I don't think we got... I think we got to jump over. Oh no. Oh! Cheeky! Zip line! Uh, am I hanging? No, nope, I'm not. Right. The way back up there. Just run and gun. Run and gun him. Oh, this is what the laser's for. Laser. Nope. Oh. Sorry, lads. I don't know why I'm using the silence. There's absolutely no need for it. Start my laser on them, would you, 007? Uh, laser on what was that? Q? Oh, the the ah, oh, nice. What a way to get the safe open. Let's melt that. Nice. Is that what I'm supposed to do? I need to go get uh, Miss Nightshade back. Let's get a weapon out. Get this burst Kowloon. I'm guessing that zip line would have worked if I'd have done it right. Oh. I'm fighting for the door there. Ah, interesting. Which way did they go? I can't get back up there, can I? I had to clear this room out anyway. So I wasn't really sparing them anything. Jump. I see we've still got those uh, classic bunny hop moves. Well, this is all part of the mission. I thought I'd found like a secret little, uh, little bit there. Hey. 
Headshot. Come for me, son. Come look at me. Look at me. Peek. Peek it. Peek it. Peek it. Peek it. Do the classic. Peek it. Peek it. Fucking terrible shots. Oh, I can't get back up there. I want to get back up there and give that zip line another go. He's just running. He's just stuck in a running away animation. No. Door's locked. It's not the right way to go. This is the right way to go. What? What's he saying? This isn't the right way to go, is it? Oh. Downstairs we go. I just like to explore me. It's one of the things that... Oh, shit. That's all my armor gone. Oh, there she is. Yeah, I love. Just wants to let me get this armor. I want to, I want to have a, oh, silenced. Come on, let's get out of here. Yeah, hang about, love. I just want to see what else is knocking around. Oh, there's nothing. There's no secrets or anything like that. There's someone about, though. I want to get in before we go. No. Okay. Let's just go. Let's just go, sweetheart. Oh, rockets. There's an helicopter or a plane or something coming. Am I going to blow myself up? That would just be silly. It's all armoured in the right places, remember? I hope this microphone's been on this whole time. Ah, oh, there he is, the big jacked guy. That bloody rocket launcher. Okay. Oh, it's a Nikita. Classic. Taking from Metal Gear. Fun, a lot of fun. It's a lot more refined than Agent Under Fire. I gotta give it that. Like, just it's more modern make gameplay mechanics than. It's always seen like the gradual evolution of like gameplay mechanics for FPS shooters here. Nice landing, James. Why do you always seem to end up on top? Uh, the lower center of gravity. He's, 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 sometimes he sounds a bit like Pierce Brosnan. Sometimes he doesn't. We've got a silver medal for that. Now we won't save our progress. Uh, we've got more play skin for... Oh, we got a job for that. And a card for Zoe Nightshade. Okay, so the next one's Alpine Escape and Enemies Vanquish. So I think this one... Are we on jet skis? Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll do the jet ski one. And then uh, we'll call this one... Uh, Call this, this video a, a wrap. If you've liked this video, hit that like button. If you're new here, consider subscribing to the channel. And as always, don't do anything I wouldn't do. There's that VP6 codec problem. That's uh, once again. Four graphics. Clean that up. So I can watch the cutscene. Oh, it's on the rails, isn't it? It's one of them ones. Uh, about to full screen here. Okay. There we 
Can 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 you get started, please, love? There we go. We finally got that. Should we just blow them up so that they can't use them? There we go. Three seconds to spare as well. Now let's remember these buttons. Why is to spin myself round? Shoot red shit. There we go. Oh, the game's having a bit of a freak out there. We ready for another crash? I'll redo my entire intro if we have another crash. It is having a bit of a freak out. I think it's the widescreen mode. This is just classic level design, isn't it? They don't make enough games like this anymore. Just, just, just games that are for fun. On the left. Behind us, James. Although I cannot wait for the IO Interactive uh, James Bond game. Easy, shoot the panel. Oh, they took out the bridge. It is the widescreen mode that's causing a lot of the issues. I'm not using a hack though. I don't get that. Because I'm not using the hack. It's supposed to have native widescreen support. Oh, sorry. I'm just shooting people, like random people there. I wonder. Because I might have to change my entire intro if this is the case. But if I change it to 4, 16 by 9, will that fix that issue? Or will that make it worse? I have to redo this entire intro. It's a shame that they don't, in, in, in future games, we'd get to play this bit. Like, that'd be cool. Instead of it being a cutscene. on the rails mission to break things up a bit. Gold medal for that one. Might as well save our progress. MP mode grapple, MP scenario, assassination. I should play some of the multiplayer. I seem to find someone to play it with. I think they have bots on this version though, so you can play like with bots. I might do a multiplayer session. 
James Bond multiplayer session. Let me know down in the comments if you're still watching it at this point. And if, uh, if that's something you're interested in. I'm going to try and do a net play with uh, Drew at some point. If he's down. Was this guy here the whole night? Perhaps. But you looked like you needed the rest. I don't recall getting much rest at all, James. <laughs> he, he nobbed her. He nobbed her. <laughs> That's some terrible FMB there. They've arrived just in time. Let's see how this game handles driving. Agent Under Fire was a lot of fun. Okay. Machine guns. Use your non -lethal weapons as a deterrent. Smoke screen online. How do I use that? Oh, that's change view. Can't touch the local authorities. What's gadget button? Now that's gadget. Trying to run people over, James. What gadgets have we got? Just that smoke thing, really. Oh, there's the police. Let's just spray them away with a bit of smoke. So that always works, doesn't it? Handles really well. Can't wait to play this game. Oh. Oh, that was close. What a, what, a, what a sick jump that was. Oh, you can tell this came out around the time Die Another Day came out. It was fucking driving on ice. I've got no missiles left. Got no missiles left. Oh, three minutes. Some great physics there. That's ah, nearly dead. Do, 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 Let's get. You must eliminate those helicopters if we are to make a safe extraction. Helicopters, right. Press the wrong button. Thought that was handbrake. First chopper. First one down. Two to go. Missiles need more missiles. What silence! I'm just, just so into this game. There we go. Another one down. Where's the last chopper? Where's our last big chopper out? There's three, wasn't there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it, it's done. Here comes my extraction. Welcome aboard, 007. Fantastic. Can't wait to play that fully. 
and got through the entire game on stream live twitch.tv forward slash twin cherry studio as much as i'd love to just sit and play this all day i'm gonna look, check out from russia with love next i think i think i say i think because should i have a quick look at the multiplayer i'll be bond Oh, arena, team arena, capture, uplink, top agent. Oh, there's, there's different kinds of games to play. Run out of lives and you're out of the game. That's top agent. Oh, I guess that's what the cheat codes are for. Industrial essence, retrieve the blueprints and return to base. So it's like capture the flag. Some good maps. Skyrail was a good map. It... Atlantis, Missile Solo, Sub Pen, that's a spot on Warzone. AI bots, you can't have bots play the Ravine map. I don't know why. Enviro mods, respawn, random, fixed gun placements, explosive scenery, grapple, mini vehicles. Oh god, I need to, I need to get the boys into this. I reckon it'll be a fun little experiment to play. Anyway, that has been Nightfire 007 James Bond. Uh, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you're new here, consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, remember, if, you, if you're still here at this point in the video, thank you very much for staying. I do appreciate you. Remember, don't do anything I wouldn't do.